hey guys my name is melanin monroe welcome back to the channel so today we're talking about Nicki minaj and her husband kenneth petty apparently the neighbors in the hidden hills want them gone they want them to leave the block okay they want them out of their yard <laughs> they want them gone okay make sure you subscribe to this channel and let's get to this tea so in december 2022 Nicki minaj purchased this 19.5 million mansion in the hidden hills yeah she's neighbors with like will and jada pinkett you know it's a really posh white people type of you know uh residence and so there's a petition circling on online from the hidden hills residents against nikki nikki and ken and like hundreds of people have signed already it's like 862 people who have already signed and still counting so the neighbors they have an issue with ken being a registered sex offender after being convicted of rape back in 1995 and he did he actually did time for four years the neighbors are saying it's a safety concern to have like a registered sex offender around the area also ken is serving a one one year house arrest for failing to register as a sex offender in california so he's registered i think in new york and when they moved he's supposed to register also in the new state but he he failed to do so like why would he fail to do that why <laughs> like it's just common knowledge i'm sure if 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 you can literally google that stuff you're supposed to register even in the new state where you move how can like Nicki Minaj afford to buy a whole mansion and cannot get any legal advice on this issue and that now they have to be in this situation? I just find it, you know what, I don't even blame the neighbors, I blame them because he should have registered as a sex offender because he's continuously proving that he has no regard for the law. And there's a lot of uh, rumors online that, you know, he was falsely convicted by, back in 95 listen that's not my concern like at the end of the day you have a record and uh, adhere to the rules of your record like if you are supposed to register you should register there's also mr petty was also being petty by sneaking around and changing his residence so that he does he doesn't register so he did this intentionally do you move into like a white people neighborhood and you don't register as a sex offender like that's crazy a lot of uh, nikki fans online are blaming the neighbors that like it's giving you know karen the karens are back again but at the same time i feel like you know they have a right to protect their neighborhood they have a right to protect the area like uh, this is a very expensive area they bought very expensive houses here they want they have a right they are very much within the rights huh, i don't know how this is gonna go for Nicki minaj i love Nicki, but you know when you have a home girl who's dating someone that you don't like but you won't say anything because you don't want to hurt her feelings that's how i feel with Nicki minaj <laughs> like i love Nicki minaj but her choices in men are a bit crazy to me <laughs> just looking at her dating record i mean the fact that especially the fact that she dated safari like what the interview she was talking about how she was they were sleeping on a mattress and safari wouldn't get a job way back when they were dating and she was working so hard to provide for him i feel like she has like like a messiah complex where she just picks up this broken man you know <laughs> she just that's like her type and it it worries me <laughs> anyway let me know your thoughts on this story and on this couple generally in the comments if you agree or disagree with me let me know also don't forget to subscribe and see you on the next video bye